happy new do we still say happy new year <laughs> we're getting close but yeah i, I still say it. yes happy new year <laughs> <laughs> but it's good to see you guys you uh, too absolutely absolutely before we start talking about the movies zendaya even though it's been months i have to say i would be remiss if i didn't congratulate you on your historic emmy win do you have your statue on display yet in your house <laughs> um it is uh, because i'm in atlanta shooting spider-man it is with my mom it is uh on her on her uh, tv stand thing so she's First my mom's time. holding it down for me yeah <laughs> on the tv and like that's my baby statue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly he's keeping it safe Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, this film was great, guys. I mean, I, seriously, I, I was watching it. It was so emotional. And I was surprised that I was like still into it, even though there's just two people in one house the entire time. It was incredible. Um, John David, talk to me about why you chose to do Malcolm and Marie at this point in your career. I know it's like a little bit of a deviation from some of the other films you've done recently. Right. Uh, that, well, that's part of the reason that that, that deviation you speak of. Um, but uh, primarily, um, you know, in the middle of a pandemic, I really wanted to do so. I didn't know if I'd be able to do work again. You know, I didn't know what the industry was going to look like. I had this whole idea of, uh, you know, selling a movie that I was a part that I made that was supposed to come out that summer, this summer, last summer, and I uh, didn't know what that was going to look like. So here comes a call from a filmmaker who um, I really admire, Sam Levinson. I, you know, I love his work since Assassination Nation and uh, what he and Zendaya are doing with Euphoria, like, as you said, historic, historic events. So um, it was a yes before I knew what he was telling me <laughs> the story was going to be about. It was a yes, let's do it. Whatever you want to do, let's do it. So, yeah. um, and to be able to play this character, it just I had to do it. Something I had to do. I had to speak those words. Oh, good. Well, and you mentioned, you know, shooting during COVID. I know there were a lot of things that were different. Sam just told me that Zendaya did her own hair and makeup. John David, did you also do your own yeah. hair and makeup? <laughs> oh, you bet Shelton, who's, who's with me on this project I'm on now. God bless her. She had me looking right. <laughs> uh, yeah. beard oil ready a little yeah, bit everything of like yes 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 from the leaves and yes she had the whole all the things going in prayer heavy prayer it was a beautiful thing. <laughs> oh i love it well zendaya tell me about what it was like you know shooting in a pandemic how different it, it was from some other projects that you've been on right of course i mean you know we we kind of had to create this bubble um that you know once you're in it you can't leave um and we were kind of shooting in the middle of nowhere, which was also kind of nice. You know, we were um, we were able to really workshop the material there. We were able to um, really get things on its feet and comb through the actual. Um, the I want to almost want to call it a play, but like it felt like we were putting on a play. You know, um, so that was really special. And 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 on top of that, I think all of us, you know, we because we were doing it ourselves, putting our own money into it, and producing it ourselves. You know, we all really had to have each other's back in a huge way you know mm -hmm. so you have you know uh our producers kati and harrison they're doing six different jobs they're you know checking to make sure that the continuity is right and being the scripties and they're also making sure people are fed and they're you know everybody's doing a bunch of different jobs you know I'm doing three things. Makeup and making sure i can remember where i put my things down from the last scene and then you know and then you know i um you know, it, it just was such a um, a group effort, you know, and everybody had to really have each other's back and support each other and um, yeah. pick up where anyone needed it. And there was just no ego involved. Everybody just wanted to make something beautiful. And, and that was a really, really special experience. And the fact that we were able to do it safely um, just is, I mean, is, is special, you know. And Absolutely. Well, it's pretty. Yeah, and it clearly worked out well. I mean, there's so many people, there's already Oscar buzz and awards buzz. You know, people are already talking about how incredible this project was. And, you know, if this film gets recognized, you know, at the Oscars, I've heard, I've read Zendaya that you would end up being the youngest producer ever um, in Oscars history. What does that feel like? I I don't even, I don't even like to think about all this stuff, you know, because um, it's, 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 um, it's pretty crazy to even, like I said, I'm just grateful to even be, in the conversation at all, you know, that um, I hope that people um, enjoy the film and really, you know, um, it sits somewhere um, in their heart and are able to connect to it in some way, hopefully, you know, want to go hug their partners and tell them thank you. Um, or whoever that is in your life, that is that creative soundboard for you or that person that keeps you grounded. Like, you know, it really is about, you um, about appreciating those people. So hopefully that's what people take from it and the rest would, you know, it's just the cherry on top. 
Yes. Yes. Hopefully they take that. And, and hopefully you get some more hardware that your mom can add to her. <laughs> <your other word. laughs> uh, but, you know, John David, people are also talking about you. And, and what I thought was really cool that I've read, you would end up being the second black producer to be nominated for acting and best picture behind your dad. How awesome is that? I mean, have you guys talked about it? Like, what is it like being history makers? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I would echo what Zendaya said. I, I, too, do not think about these things. I am just happy that the film is coming out and I am happy that uh, people are reacting to it the way they do. Uh, the, 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 the real was what I really find and I hope to find more of when it comes out is w whether you connect to it or not, that you are impacted by it. You are affected mm -hmm. by what you saw, what you experienced. And if you're judging the characters, good. If you connect to the characters and, and pick a side, even better. But you <laughs> do feel something. Do you and feel like you connected to your character, John David? Excuse me. <laughs> you connected to your character. I mean, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it a hundred. Like on the on the same. I should be careful here. On the same. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> of of <laughs> thank you. Trouble. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know. Here we go. Right. <laughs> and Malcolm kept backing himself in the corner. But like, just just like the, the whole thank you thing. I mean, just appreciation. You know, he also has a great point that you 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 forget about me being there from Jump Street. You forget about me being there from back in the day or whatever. So I just, you know, I, there's some stuff I do understand him coming from. Tactics though, I do not understand. I do not recommend it. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't say these things the way he did. Definitely not. A lot of below the belt hitting. For, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, uh, well, one thing we do have to talk about is the mac and cheese. Okay, so Zendaya, in here, your character made some boxed mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. You do boxed or do you do mac and cheese from scratch or do you take my option and just not cook at all? I do not cook. Yeah, listen. I understand you. I feel you. Thank you. Um, I don't cook often ever. Um, <laughs> I have a couple main dishes that I can hook up if necessary, but other than that, uh, like what? Like, <laughs> first of all, I have a couple things. All right, in my Rolodex that I can whip out if necessary. Okay, all right, all right, all right. but mostly. I order. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cheese and crackers is high on the list for me. I mean, that's like, that's my go-to. Well, and John David, and I've, I've read that you actually threw up the mac and cheese at the end of the day because you ate so much of it. Sir, could you not have faked it? <laughs> uh, you know, because I am so committed to my character, you know, I was gonna, I had to like, I had to do Literally. it. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <Yeah. laughs> Listen, yeah, that happened. You know, there was there was a different there was different ways of getting. It was a good cleanser. We'll put it that way. It was good. <laughs> good. I was, I really washed really you out. Yeah, really got the got the the emotions flowing. And I love it. I love to hear. It. Well, that looks like that's my time, guys. Great to talk with you guys. And seriously, congrats on a great film. And I'm holding my breath for you guys come award season. Thank, Thank you so much. You look beautiful, by the way. Thank wow. you. That means a lot coming from you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.